G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zhou Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, where I'm coming into another day in the No Repair Challenge. Most of my gear is pretty banged up, not quite cactus yet though, but as the name implies, I cannot repair anything I have, the tools, the weapons, the blocks, nothing, but I have to try and survive regardless. The sun has just risen, I'm still up in my clock tower with not a lot of room to maneuver, but at least I'm alive, which is always a good start. I've got my 4G over here smelting away. All my iron's in. It's getting some clay. I might immediately get a little bit of forged iron on the crack. Thank you. But I am very hungry and very thirsty. I don't have a lot of options there. That's going to be my main priority today. I have no cash because I spent all of it buying an anvil from Trady Gen. So I'm going to go and hit up some grocery stores or something. Try and scavenge some food. I need to get my, um, my jute collector going as quickly as possible. But before I can do that, there's actually a change to the office while I for things to smell. I have four Finally, gone and installed all the lights on the shelves behind me. They are much brighter than I thought they were going to be, but they are in, they are lit, and they are there. Pretty bloody stoked about that. I can't do electricity to save a bleeding life, but somehow I wired up a whole lighting system, so good job me. But new aesthetically pleasing things in my office aside, I need to crack on. The sun is up, the zombies are awake, and I'm slowly thirsting to death. There's actually a bit of a pool next door, which is pretty good cricket. Is there actually water in that though? I thought that was empty and full of zombies. It looks like it's full of water there and it's blue on the map. Not that it matters anyway, because I cannot go and scavenge water from that regardless. There's no container to put it in soon. Just cup your hands and slurp it, I suppose. You're empty, but there is a passing gas. You often have, I think it's the little one. I think you often have a small little food pile in the back of you. That might not be a bad shout right off the bat. Purple? Empty purple SUV? In what world is that purple? That's redder than maroon. Jeez, if you went to the paint shop and asked for purple and it gave you that, you'd be spitting chips. There's an ice box out the back. Can you still make murky water? Some more mushy spores, thank you. Can you still make murky water out of ice, uh, not ice, uh, snowballs? I don't know if that's still a thing or not. I could beat you to death a little bit. Recipes. No, but you're used for yucca juice smoothies. Okay, I'll grab you anyway, because why not? I've only got about four pocket spaces, so sure, let's fill it up with a snowball, just in case Santa Claus comes to town. There's medical supplies on the counter, and someone having a snooze up in the rafters. This is going to be more than a little bit dicey with my complete and utter lack of stamina. In fact... Before I go and murder someone, can I quickly grab the fridge? Some murky waters. Can't drink it now, but still appreciate it anyway. Old mate didn't wake up. I am the epitome of stealth. Everyone thinks I'm loud, but I'm actually super whisper quiet, like the stompiest mouse you've ever heard. I did just find some vitamins in that... That sounds pretty tempting. I did find some vitamins in that little uh, medicine pile then. And given I got a couple... A couple of jars of murky water and that Vegemite Sangam. If I can remove the chance of dysentery and just pound it all down. So I go into a pretty questionable smorgasbord restaurant. Just seeing what comes out the other end before things come out your other end. Throw you away. Check the... Yep. Check the weapons back up in the rafters for... A spear crafted book and a pistol book. I'm not really expecting this that right now, but thank you. You're really starting to tempt me. I'll see if I can find anything better because my hydration is very quickly ticking away from me. I can only get 40 back. That's a sleeping pooch. I can only get 40 back. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, you bitch. How did you get through that? I thought I absolutely sconed you by closing the door directly into your schnoops. Bloody physics-defying pooches out here causing all sorts of issues. All right. Wait for your stamina to come back because I need it. Scrap you. Uh, don't need one piece of paper. I can eat you. It hurts a little bit, but no chance of dysentery. Sure, why not? It's worthwhile. All right, stamina's up. Wait for the bonk. Bonk. And then bonk you right back again. Three should sit you. You're not quite dead. Now you definitely are. You've got a pretty serious case of headlessness. Unlucky. And no food. 
Damn it. I came here for food and all you gave me was gubbins. Car parts box. If you want to give me a chassis or something for oh, just a wheel for my bicycle, that would have been all wicked. But num, harvesting tools and vehicle adventures. Take that with me and check the big boy box for a can of pears. Five waters. I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Some ammo and some scrap gloves. I can't repair, but I can sell you. You're worth almost $100 reduce. Quickly reload you for all the extra ammo I found. All right. Uh, not quite a success. I'm going to hold some duct tape. Thank you. I'm going to hold off slurping down the murky water for the moment. There's got to be a better option. There's got to be a better option than drinking floaties. I can't super be bothered going all the way up into the bell tower to drop everything off so you can just go into them. I'm probably going to see Jen today, so I'll grab you. I'm going to eat the last of you. It will cost me some water, but we'll see how we go. And just in case, I'll bring both of you with me. You never know. I can't just eat a snowball, can I? I can throw it to distract a zombie, but I can't just slurp it down, rub it in my hands, get some fluid out of it. Right, yeah, no, water survival is definitely more difficult these days, isn't it? Oh, I need to prioritize that more, well, I already am, but even more so. Is there still a way to, if I grab some yucca, can yucca still give me some water? No, only one food. Mm, although, actually, I can, oh, you know what? I can save you, I can pop the vitamins and just go and dunk my head into the water over here and slurp up everything of myself, a full thing of hydration at the cost of a whole vitamin pill though, which I don't have a lot of at the moment. But stamina regen, super up the bloody important and I'm lacking it. That's probably a good idea. I reckon that's probably some smart bloody cricket. Where was the pond? There's one just around here. Gonna stay away from the zombie infested pool. Don't think I want to drink that on a bad day anyway. Oh, guys, not now. Not now. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Let's get you bleeding. You can go on the hump. I go, <laughs> you can go and rub up against that cactus if you want to. My brain shut down for a second. I'm getting real thirsty. Your brain isn't shut down, but it's not connected anymore. Unlucky. Come on. Come on. We're fine. We're fine. We're all good. Stamina, please. Stamina, please. I can't find... Oh, jeez, there's a couple of bosses coming over. I can't find the... There you are, over there. Quick waypoint it so I can find it later. Get you swinging, get you bleeding, and then get a little bit of distance to let you think about everything that led to this moment and how you're going to do it differently next time. There's a serpent coming over as well, a cheeky little danger noodle. Where are I? Where are I? As long as I keep my distance and use my power attacks and bleeding attacks to get you sorted. Like that, which should be all well and good. You're made of meat, which I do kind of need. I'm just not going to take the chance, though. Not going to take the chance. Right. Damn it, I should have taken the chance. You're so wiggly and waggly. How am I supposed to hit you? There it is. There's the fluids I was so desperate for. All right. Vitamins in. Get that in. Yeah, protect me from all the diseases, please. And I know from Emerge that I have to make solid eye contacts. There you go, with the puddle, before it'll let me drink it. All the way up, all the way up. I mean, it sounds like he's not having a great time. He's gagging on it a little bit. It's shallow and was full of zombies. Oh, I'm getting hurt. I don't know if I was getting hurt by all that. I thought I was just... <gasps> no, dude. It's got negative five health now. I thought I was being good for a change. I thought I was actually thinking clearly and making good survival decisions. All the while, I was getting absolutely knackified by my need to hydrate. Uh, I'm going to whack in another couple of anyway, because I do need to get my hydration as good as possible. I've got you. Not sure how bandaging up your arm will fix all your organs, but apparently it will. All right. That was... Well, I fixed one issue and it's opened up like 14 more. Can you imagine if that's how I died, by the way? Like, obviously this series is permadeath. Almost all the series I run, or basically everything except for an overhaul mod, all the series I run are permadeath. So if I die, it's all over and I failed the no repair challenge. Imagine if that's how I died. I died by drinking too much water, overhydrated myself and fell over backwards. What a what an inauspicious death that would be. But also not entirely surprising for me. I do want to go and see Jen, but I also want to raid the passing gas just here. But I think... I mean, there's an ATM right at the front. I'll try and grab that before I go and see him. Hold on. Right there. No, just missed you. Hold on, let me try again. Up and to the left, please. I still missed. All right, give it another go. 
All right, that's it. That's it. You've lost. You've lost your chance. You've lost your opportunity to boop him from across the way. If I'm gonna go see Jed, might as well grab the aid to get him now. If that has like a thousand dollars of paper money in it, then that's gonna get me halfway to get myself the um the water filter that I need, and I can do one quest and get it. Nice. In on the first crack. Open you up. About a thousand dollar reduce worth of money. Love to see it. Get you swinging. Get you not swinging. Oh, you're in trouble now, buddy boy. You're an absolute strife. I'm hydrated. No longer thirsty. Only bloodthirsty. Jenny, I've come back to see ya. Oh, better put my bone away. It's been early for that, don't you think, Joshy boy? Do you have? You don't have. Oh no, because the math is changing. You don't have any sugar butts, but you've got to be selling. $3,000 worth of stuff to make that worthwhile, which I'm just not going to at any point soon, so I think we're fine. If you're, uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. I have no idea who weather is. I promise I've never heard of it before. I don't know what you've heard, Jen, but it's not true. But please also buy that off me, buy that off me. Uh, I can buy that off me too. That's all fine. The rest of that stuff is all just kind of random garbage that I found. <gasps> you do have medical journals, though. How, Thank you so much. I can hear footsteps. Hey, How far away am I from getting, not that one, medical, from me, but I have myself my first aid bandages because that's a pretty important thing. I'm four away. All right, I can't buy it now anyway, so never mind. Oh, I'll we'll just take a job I off you. I'd rather, yeah, I'll take that one there, 100 meters away at the uh, passing thanks, gas. Uh, you Jen, you read my mind. You read my mind, love. I was heading there anyway. Now I just get the benefit of some dosh. That does mean, actually, it's going to reset that ATM out the front, which I'm not especially upset about. Ooh, no. Nah, Spears books isn't this serious anymore, Josh. You don't need to get excited about those. Someone's woke up and got to be antsy about me raiding the dumpster. Take the Vegemite Sanger. Give you a tickle and find out who was getting upset with me. Was it someone inside? <laughs> It was too. It, oh, I can see someone right there too. G'day, copper. Hold on a second. Let's just go like that and like that so I can get up and have a squiz. Boop you, mate. Gone. And boop you too. Stay right there. Thank you very much. Oh, look at you with the big schnoz. Gonna start calling you Gonzo. I was just grabbing all the stuff out of the dumpster outside and Loza has come out to say g'day to me. Fair enough. Finish you off so I can get like three good power attacks. That usually sits them, then a couple of regulars. I gotta use the regular attacks as much as possible because it saves my stamina and my fluid usage. I've got one more dot on the compass, which should be up there, I think. Oh, now I've got three dots on the compass. Never mind then. One down, two down. Where's the third? This is why I wanted to put a point into archery because it's always so good. Can't see your noggin. That's just going to have to do it. I'll finish you off the hard way. Nice, Gary. Done. Look at all the drinks you have. Oh, and you've got a soda machine as well. Give me you. Shit. <laughs> I mean, anything is good at this point. I'll take the murkies. I'll ball up when I get back home. Beggars. Ooh, beggars cannot be choosers. And I am on my knees, scuffing up me jeans. Absolutely begging. Nothing there. Shouldn't mention getting my knees dirty. Jenny's just around the corner. She might get some ideas. Anything else? Just some paper. I'm cucumber. The cucumber sounds delicious right now. I'm snacky too. Found myself a cooking book. That's number five. Surely. Sure. Is, isn't five like the first level of unlocks? Cooking. Uh, wait. Why, why can't I find cooking? Am I just seeing it but also not seeing it? I'm in the right menu. Medical armor. It's called food, not cooking. All right, fair enough. Then that's unlocked grilled meat and red tea. Which also, what? Does that give me golden rod as well? So I can make up to them. Oh, no, no. The next level gives me, gives me grilled meat and red team. Okay, so I still got a little bit of yakka to do. Potentially, though, one more book gives me the bacon and eggs. We could, we could almost do it. We could almost solve all of our food and water troubles. If we just have another couple of good bits of RNG. <laughs> Shame my parkour is so terrible. I can see a stack of canned food right there in front of me. Tease me with its existence that I can't quite reach. And some books and a cheeky duffel bag. I need some better tools. Oh, my axe is almost gone though. I need to make a new one before I go down to the bunker because I cannot repair you. 
poo poo out of the way. What have you got? Any snacks? Any fluids? Another cooking book. Grilled meat and red tea. That's six out of a hundred. Does that also give me the bacon and eggs? I don't know, but you also gave me some chicken rations. Gobble that immediately. Where's food? Food, food, food. That one. Nah, not quite. Not quite. Oh, so now it's up to eight. All right, so it keeps moving the goalposts further and further away. Take planets. Check the duffel bag for a tank top, which is worse my heat resistance somehow, and a flashlight. Yeah, you're at a 9.8, you're at an 8.3. Scrap you for the fabric then. Thanks for nothing. Might actually break down you because I'm going to need you to make the axe again. Take everything. Leave nothing behind, especially not you. Car parts box. Vehicles and scrapping and another wheel. Thank you. I don't have a wrench to break down the destroyed workbench. We're just going to have to loot it and leave. I don't know why I got my axe out, but... <gasps> But it's not going to do much for me. Some forged steel. Thank you. I'll grab that little bundle of joy in the corner. Get all that clay that I need. I mean, I don't need to break things down for the forge line. I have the forge. I'm just not really used to having the forge this early in the piece. All right. The last bunker. Lots of zombies inside. And I am a panicky little man who's just going to have to make this work. Oh, freebies. That's a rather unfortunate view on stripper tees. I feel like I owe her all of my money now. Can't see anything else. All right, sorry, love. <laughs> Just, you put it out there for me and I couldn't do anything but go for it. Look, who am I to turn you down? Who am I to turn? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, all right. Scobo, you definitely saw out the apocalypse in style, didn't you? It's suddenly gotten very dark. I did put an arrow through his knee to try and slow him down even more so. Between the bleeding damage and the arrow through the patella. You're still not dead. I've done a reasonable job here. Bonzo, mate. Got two skill points to spend. And that's the job done. Right. I think... Ooh, I think it'd be silly. Oh, two points will get me instant cure from the splints and casts. But agility is always so much more tempting. I mean, parkour will reduce the stamina cost by uh, for jumping for 10%, but that was almost a sentence. Reduce the stamina cost of jumping by 10%. There we go. Let's try that one. If I have parkour, I don't need the physician perk because I won't break my legs anymore. It's a bold assumption, but it seems to work out. I'm going to go... Oh, what's the first point of whirlwind, actually? Level 4 of that. I'm going to buy you, and I'm going to buy you, get even more knife books. Look, I can limp around on one leg if I've got good offense, and at the moment, yes, thank you. At the moment, my knife is my best thing. Some tier 6 scrap boots in the loot chest. First aid bando and some more ammo. That's actually not particularly terrible. Like a tier 6 anything is always good. I can't repair you to make you worth more money, but I can still chuck whatever spare mods I have for you later on into you to make a dime or a thousand. Knife book, thank you. I can now make a bone quality knife tier 3. I'll get right on that. Harvesting tools as well. Stone tools quality 2. Interesting. Anything else right here? Like a toilet pistol. Nah, just some fluids. A medical journal book, some painkillers. Nice, we're edging our way ever closer to getting ourselves up to making the first aid bandos. Take all of the cloth. All of the cloth. Don't need you. All right, I think we're good. I think we're done. It's dark as anything in here because the clouds have come over. And for some reason, that affects underground. It's a little rainy. It's a little drizzly. And by a little, I mean a lot. Uh, I can't... Oh, jeez. G'day, champ. I can't take everything with me, so I might have to leave some things behind and come back and get it another time but it's me and i'll absolutely forget where i've left the bloody thing and never find it again why don't actually oh i got some machete parts out of there as well i didn't realize that why don't i leave the things that aren't necessary right now rotten flesh you can piss off and get you any time i want you can go away i can turn those feathers into arrows free up that space don't need cornmeal i'll just eat you have a look now we have any any close to being done we would be one more space to fix. What can go? What can go? What's not super necessary? You're not super necessary. All right. I'll, I'll actually, I'll leave you behind. I'll come back for that in a second. I'll go see Jen first. May as, well light, ooh, may as well lighten the load and grab the ATM again as well. I broke my lockpick. It didn't even make the sound, but I broke the lockpick. I just realized something wasn't counting down anymore. 
Do I get bold? Do I get bold with my last lockpick? Do I gamble on it? No, oh, I regret doing that. I regret doing that. Having one lockpick means that I can get into anything if I've got the lockpicking candy. That was a bad decision. Give me the zeros. Oh, 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 yes, thank you. Thank you. My gamble has paid off. I'm never doing that again. That was a silly by decision, Josh. What are you doing? If you have no lockpicks, you have no hope. Jenny girl, I'm back again. Her name's Jenny. Literally Wait, leaping over altars to come Jen. and see you again. Check out my bone. Amazing. Can you? Ooh. I hope you like your reward. Give me always. I mean, that's not particularly great loot anyway. Learn how to harvest brass from doors and never run out of bullets again. Brass is really an issue for me, but thank you. I'll take the books real quick. You can take all of this off me. Another thousand dollar reduce. Boop. I have enough now to buy at least one water filter. I'm halfway up to the next one as well. Did you actually have anything worthwhile on your gen? Anything that I might want to take with me? Oh, a helmet light mod. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, go on then. I mean, it got real dark in that cavern a second ago. Grabbing a helmet light isn't a bad idea. Right. I, feeling. I feel better already after talking to you. Amazing what the look of a good woman can do to you. Quickly open you. Bow crafting. Quality two bows. Shotgun crafting and workstations. No, I don't care about pop shotguns. I care about workbenches. Come on, baby, please. Come on, baby, please. No, dude. How far? How far? Two more? God damn. Not that I have the space for it at the moment anyway. I don't actually have a helmet to chuck my helmet light mod into anyway. So it was a bit redundant to buy, but at least I'm prepared for come what may. I don't know if that's the right way to use that expression, but I'm going to use it anyway. Sit ya. Finish ya. Grab some eggs from the bird's nest. Thank you. And murder all your friends as well. Listen, I don't mind who comes or what comes. I'm more than happy to sit you all. Kiss the floor. Ha, 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 no. No. There's more coming. And I'm way too cucumber to deal with that. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I've got to avoid those dogs. I've got to avoid those dogs. I heard the tippy tappy footsteps while I was mucking about in the dumpster. Dumpster diver. My name's Oscar. And I'm real fucking grouchy. And there's zombie dogs cruising by. Oh my god. I'm like, I could probably take on the wandering horde of regular zombies, but a couple of zombie dogs, I think there was two, maybe three. Death sentence. Absolute bona fide, genuine death sentence. Like it's been sold on TV at three in the morning. Oh no. No, 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 no. Not doing that. Do you have any snacks or a grill? You've got some snacks. I don't need that though. Not that I have any room for you. Just eat them. Just eat them and get going. Get trucking back home. Leave all of that nope to future Josh. Poor future Josh. Got to deal with all that. So if that had it gone down the way it very nearly did, I do have the pipe machine gun and I do have the pipe pistol. So I may have been able to fend off the dogs to start with, but it would have been bleeding. I would have been hurt. I would have been so absolutely screwed. Perhaps even like a quick little dump everything back into the dumpster again, just to free up my stamina and my speed. But listen, it's me. It's me. I can barely think slow on a nice calm day. If I'm panicking, thinking quickly, never gonna happen. You can see the roof of little ceiling dicks. Well, good me home, making eye contact with me. How are you all? Growing lovely? I bloody hope so. All right, chuck everything away that I can. And start using my secondary storage. What do I need? For that, um, what am I thinking of? The Jew Collector. I've got that. I need lots more polymers and two more duct tapes. Okay, I can make that nice and quick. Not 18 of them, just the two. I don't want to use all my glue if I have to. I turn it into duct tape like I normally do. I'm going to try and keep it in glue form for as long as possible. You can go into that one. Where's the other? Oh, there's still some, there's still some stuff in the dump chest outside. All right, fair enough then. I'll go get that in a moment. So if I just get... 55 more polymers. In fact, I might even track you. There you go. 55 more polymers. I'm good to rock and roll. And I can finally see off the biggest of my issues right now. Gonna chuck on a bunch of water on the craft. Got 11 of them going. Five and a half minutes. That's all good. Uh, did I have... 
anymore. I've got some clay and I should have some iron. I'll grab you and I'll put you into the forge as well. Got to make sure everything is cooking along nicely. You go like that. You go like that. There's a little bit more fuel. Got the forge and the campfire going. That might call in a screamer. But... I mean, you can wander around down here all you want. Join the choir if you have to, but you're not going to find me up there. So if I need polymers, that's just like tires on the ground, isn't it? I have gone through what? Like, well, two passing gases today, which usually have some tires around the joint and grabbed none of them. Oh, you know what I should have done? You know what I really should have done? I have the ability to make one. Why don't I have one yet? Wrench. I need a wrench and my... Mm, my forge just crafted a bunch of those for me. All right, I left home for two seconds and immediately turned back around again. Like I've walked into the kitchen, forgotten what I was there for, and I'll be doing that five more times today. It's all looking relatively peaceful and nice. Passing gas, do you have any wheels anywhere? Any tires? I've got a minute and a half left on my wrench, so just break down a couple of things while I'm waiting for it. Once I've got the wrench, though, I can start taking down cars. I can take down the broken workbench at the other... Uh, passing gas as well. It's only gets to you once. So we're going to last so long, but I just said prioritize actually. And prioritize what I hit with it. Only things that are actually going to help me. Getting some good polymers. That's a cheeky 10 out. I've got 13 out of 55. Anything that even looks remotely plastic is going to get beaten down. That's a radiator. That's a mattress. A desk and a fridge. None of that looks plastic at all. I'll check up the tippy top of the tower. Going up into heights always makes me nervous, though. It is me, and I basically have sticks of butter for toes. Nothing there, is there? Is this one that has something secret inside, or is this one that collapses when you break down any of the blocks? I'm going to hold on to the metal ladder just in case. My wrench is now done. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one this is, but we'll use that wrench on the Bowser in a second. Get some steel out of it. Pop you open. Oh. Well, there was one that collapses, but there's also no secret stash. That was entirely disappointing. Yeah, nah, nice. Gave me three bits of steel out of you. That's why a wrench is so bloody good. It was super bloody important in District Zero. Equally as important in regular vanilla. I've kind of missed vanilla, though. It, like, it was a lot of fun playing District Zero and fighting robots instead of zombies, but I miss the squishies. I miss the zombies when I go away from them so long. It's good to be back. I'm glad to be back. No more tires in the gutter. Okay, that's all fine. Where where else can I go? Where else can I go? It's going to be good. Just check all the car... Oh, shit. Just check all the car parks everywhere. I suppose, actually, I did leave... Oh, that's going to be a bit dicey, though. I did leave that stuff in that dumpster because I paid when the zombie dog showed up. Ooh. Scrapping for fun. Grab you. Any extra book I find, that means the next wrench that I make will last longer and longer and longer. And trust me, lasting longer is always a dream of mine. Got right, some more lead. Any more polymers anywhere? No, just some wood. Can I just rip the wheels off you and grab the rubber out of that one? You're already looted, though. Take all of the garbage. No, nope, nothing there. I'm nervous about those zombie dogs, though. They'll still be around somewhere. I'm going back to where they spawned in. So I'm definitely, um... Ooh, garbage truck. You'll have some plastic in you. I'm definitely barking up the wrong tree. I'm about to have my tree barked at. That'll do. That'll do. That's 56 polymers. I needed 55, so we are done. Uh, we're done there. He's just on the hoof. Or on the paw. Sorry. I don't see his twin. That was a bold shot. I didn't quite nail it. Yes, they're right there. Thank you. Am I a bit more? Damn it, I need to get that stealth shot. I'm cooked without that stealth damage. How am I still missing? Go again. There you go. You're going to come over. And actually, if I come over here and quickly hide like the brave boy I am, you're going to forget where I am. And up. i put another round directly between the ears. Oh, oh, shit, shit, shit. Hold on, hold on. He's lost me again. <laughs> you may be a dog, you may be a demon and a zombie, but you still can't see me for shit. Oh, I'm basically the Aussie ninja. Instead of Jack and the Beanstalk, I'm not going to grind his bones to make my bread, but I will use his bones to make a new knife. Quickly grab that. Thank you. Modify that one. Whack it into the newy. Modify. Nice. Scrap. Grab you. Just a little bit better again. That was only one, though. There's definitely more. 
I'm gonna have to find them somewhere. There's still a whole horde out here, dude. There's still a whole bleeding horde out here. Speaking of bleeding, though, need to get Moosey and Gooey dead. Old mates brought me some gubbins. Thank you very much. Ooh, thank you very, very much. It's actually some pretty good gubs out of you. Haven't searched the mail drop box. No, nothing else around. Check the car on the way through. That's already empty. There's another tie there. May as well while I'm here. I'm still in the mood for getting polymers. Where's the dog though? Where's the dog? I don't know where the other zombie dog is. I don't want to come across it at a real bad time. Loz up. Damn it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hold on. Loz it down. Gone. There's the doggo. Go there. Oh, he stopped just in front of it. Try again. Gotcha, that one. Give you a bit of lead. Oh, I thought it would have hit you. I thought it would have hit you. Oh, he knows where I am. He knows where I am. Stop. Ow. Damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, he stunned me. Oh, he stunned me. Getting stunned is normally a death sense, but I somehow got away with it. God damn. That is exactly why I fucking hate zombie dogs. If that happened before, I would have been dead. That absolutely proves it. There's still a bit of cleaning up to do before I can get all my stuff. That's a long shot well over the top there, Josh. Try again. That's a bit better. That's fucking amazingly better. Right through the back of his scone. Josh, he's learning how to shoot a bow and arrow occasionally. Followed up with a big old whiff. And another bloody whiff. Come on, Josh. Sort it out, would you? That's a little bit better. Just going to come over and say good day in a moment. Quickly give you a tap too. Just want everyone as damaged as possible because it's about to be night time. Loz is hiding in the bush. There you are. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you're in there somewhere. Oh, sliced your melon directly in half. I feel like they've updated the... Ah, oh, shit. The slice lines on those cheeky decaps that I absolutely love. Nothing else here. Everything has popped into existence. All right. Grab you. Thank you. There was no other, like, um... I'm here for polymers, actually. I'll check around for them just in case. That was a bit weird. Nothing else around. All right. Let's get back home. I don't want to be out here at night. I'm running, running, running home as fast as I can, but they probably definitely can catch me because I am not the gingerbread man. I can see the steeple, though. I can see safety up a rope and up a ladder. That is the... Oh, look at that. That looks so bloody good. Stop ogling the environment, though, please, Josh, because there are zombies spawning around the joint, and if they find you, they will eat you. Then all your hard yakets, they'll be worth nothing. No one's here. I think we're fine. I haven't actually cleared out the basement of this place yet. I should probably do that, then put a land claim block down. That seems good. Close you. Close you. Get up the ladder and away I go. Oh, that was too much. That was too much. That was too dicey for a day. I didn't like that at all. I was thinking, because I don't really have a lot of room in this place, but there is this whole nice area up here that could potentially... Oh, and it's laid out nicely. Just get rid of these, like, horizontal rafters here and build a floor onto it. This could be a decent place to set up a little bit of a shop. It's not much... But hey, it's something, and I'm not really in a position to be choosy about it. And if I have that going out there, I could even... If I get back on the rope, get out a little bit so I get up onto the ladder. I could even go through there, past the forge, put a door in, and use that to chuck in... Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Use that to chuck in my jute collector, and then my water issues will be solved. Couple more magazines for cooking, and I my food issues will be solved. Oh, man. The end of day three, but we're looking pretty good. Pretty ship shape for once. I don't want to take any chances with the social integrity of this whole building by getting rid of, like, the top gable of the, uh, the, uh, the church roof here. So instead, I'm just going to build a couple of blocks like that. I can chuck another couple of along there. There was no pink. There was no nothing. So we're all fine. I can grab my Jew collector and put you in. Oh, you kind of, you're going to be blocking the door... Hang on. Hang on a second. Another three, please. In fact, I'm going to go... We'll go six. We'll go six just in case so I can actually build a platform out here and connect it back down to the roof again. Because if I have a door there, eventually I'll move the forge. That'd be a nice little double door to come out onto the roof on. you got to think about your aesthetics, even if it's a little bit further down the track, and you're probably not ready for that bit yet. I can actually make a padded hood as well. All 
right, I'll take one of you because I'd very much like to get a helmet light going so I can actually see what the dickens I'm doing out there. Uh, when I leave a helmet light, you um just then. Nice, thank you. Leather hood, no padded hood even. Can't make the leather hood yet, that's fine. It's only at C1, but it's better than nothing. All right, so that's gonna mean I can now see what I'm building. Because look, it's it's not much, but it's something. I've got a little like uh, stilts down here connecting it to the building. You, modify, whack you on, whack you in, scrap you, and there you go. It doesn't look like much, but it will work. Grab that and put you, you're pink, but it's always pink. Nice, Gary. All right, we have some water going. I reckon, though, that is a pretty successful day. Having that dew collected by the end of day three, I'm very, very bloody happy about. So tomorrow, I just will have quite a bit of... Do I, I don't have quite a bit of dodge anymore, actually. I lied. I thought I still had, like, $1,000. Where did all my money go? Has generally taken half of my possessions because I, I went on the job for it. That's bloody rude. Would have thought you'd reward me better than that. How did I lose all my money? I was very high pitched. I, 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 I am flabbergasted about that. I don't know where it's gone, but I'll just have to accept that somehow half my money has disappeared like a fart in the breeze. Sick. Sick as dicks. I'm going to have to go back and see Jen tomorrow, see what job she has for me, and keep on pushing to try and get my bicycle or the workbench or bacon and eggs. In fact, all three in one day would be bloody bonds up. That's asking an awful lot of the game that doesn't especially like giving me things in the first place. But I'll have to come back and continue to ask things of this game in another episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe to this channel follow me on socials and when i talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one